If you've been wondering how to make mashed potatoes, today I'll be showing you the simplest recipe ever. These mashed potatoes are buttery, fluffy, and full of flavor. Let's not forget, very delicious. To make these mashed potatoes, you'll need potatoes, of course. So I have my potatoes over here, which I've peeled, washed, and cut into large cubes. This is the size I'm going for, and to the recipe also I'm going to be using some milk, salt, butter, and coriander. So let's get making this recipe. So you're going to place a pot of a medium high flame, add cold water. Whenever you're boiling potatoes, always boil in cold water so that the potatoes can boil evenly or cook evenly. Place in my potatoes. Add in some salt, cover and let the pot come to a boil. For this recipe, you'll need a potato masher, of course. And if you don't have a potato masher, you can use a cup or a wooden spatula. After around six minutes, I'm going to check if my potatoes are ready by inserting a fork. Once the fork can run through, my potatoes are ready. Also, it depends on the size of potatoes that you have chopped. Just make sure to check before draining the water. So I'm going to drain my potatoes and see you in a minute. After draining, I'm going to add in some butter to my potatoes. Add in a pinch of salt to fully season my potatoes. And using a potato masher, I'm going to mash my potatoes. You can see how easily the potatoes are mashing because they are well cooked. When boiling the potatoes, avoid overboiling the potatoes because they're going to soak in water. Hence, your mashed potatoes are going to be very light. At this point also, I'm going to chop up some coriander leaves. So, I'm going to thinly slice my coriander. Finally, mince my coriander. Done. If you're using a nonstick pan, avoid using a metallic potato masher because it's going to destroy your nonstick pot. At this point, the potatoes are looking so good. So I'm going to add in a splash of milk as I mash. You'll add the milk according to how you love your mashed potatoes. Mine are looking very perfect. So I'm going to add in a little bit of coriander to jazz up my mashed potatoes. Make sure the coriander is evenly distributed in the mashed potatoes and just look how creamy the mashed potatoes are looking. Just look at that. This is how I love my mashed potatoes. They are well mashed and looking very fluffy. This is how my mashed potatoes have turned out and I definitely love, love how the coriander has added some color to my mashed potatoes. I'm going to be having mine with some beef stew and it's definitely going to be delicious. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll be trying out this easy and quick dinner idea or lunch idea. <music>